Hi, my name is Russ Pugh, and behind me is my giant screen house where I grow big pumpkins. Um, today I'd like to show you around uh, my screen house and what's going on with my pumpkins this year. This screen house is two years old. Um, I actually built another section onto it this past year, and I have room to grow nine um, giant pumpkin plants, um, and that's exactly what I'm growing this year. I'm hoping that I'll end up with nine big pumpkin fruit or at least three or four or five to take to the contests that are all within driving distance and have a couple leftovers to either sell or end up in front of my house. Here we are inside of the screen house and as you can see I have four humongous hot houses which are about 20 feet long and 13 feet wide. Um, which each of them houses two plants um, that I'm growing back to back. And then I have a single hothouse, which is half that size, um, over here in the new part of my screen house, um, which just has a single um, plant growing in it. These plants have been out now for, it'll be four weeks on Monday, and they're really getting cranked up. and. If you look in here, here's my 2363 Holland plant, which has a main vine that's, I don't know, probably five feet long. And you can see how much space there's still left in this hothouse. I allocate about a thousand square feet of growing space for each of my plants. Um, the spaces are about 35 feet long and maybe 30 feet wide. Um, here you can see my 2000 Pengri, um, which is growing really nicely, um, tortoise, and growing the other direction is a 1937 Urana plant, um, which grew, actually there's still two 1937s, I haven't picked which one I'm going to end up growing this year, um, but the 1937 grew the 2000 Pengri, which was just an awesome pumpkin last year. Here's my 1944 and a half pew plant, um, which is just about to come out of the door of this hothouse. Um, you can see the side vine um, that is pushing up against the plastic. And actually yesterday, that was probably six or eight inches away from the plastic. Um, that's the side vine that it's growing on right now is probably, I don't know, four and a half feet long. And overall this vine on this plant is you know just about seven feet long so it's really cranking along hopefully it'll grow a really nice pumpkin for me i just cut this hole in my hot house um, because a side vine of my 1944 and a half pew was pressed up against it and is needing to get out into the real world so it's not going to be long until this entire plant um, has outgrown its hot house this is the main vine of the 1944 uh, and a half pew, and it's just inches away from the door um, leading to the outside world. And I don't know, it looks like probably this will be the last night that I'm able to close the door on this hot house. Back behind my 1944 is my 1786 pew, which I grew off of the 1944 last year. And it is similar in size to the uh, 1944 plant. These are by far my two most aggressive plants. And I always have found it to be kind of interesting how it seems like a lot of times the people that grow their own seeds um, end up with their very best pumpkins being grown from the seeds that came out of their own pumpkins. This plant is my 2095 Brant plant. Um, maybe it's 2090, I'm not sure, it's one or the other. But anyway, it's from the pumpkin that Josiah drove all the way from Wisconsin, 32 hours to Elk Grove um, to beat us all. I ended up being second there. Um, so I kind of took that as a sign that it might be a good idea for me to grow that seed this year. Um, anyway, it's about as nice looking of a plant as you can possibly get. This is kind of interesting. These plants are quite a bit smaller than my um, other plants I was showing you earlier. Um, this is a 1911 Urena, and on the other side is a uh, 2000 Pengri. Um, these plants are 
one week younger than the other plants. Um, so I guess it's fair to say that a week ago, my other plants looked about like these. Um, so it's pretty amazing how quickly these things grow. Interesting, I'm uh, planting some green beans here in the little garden on the side of my screen house. And a couple hours ago, I just put my, uh, my seed into this water bottle and been soaking it just like we do with our giant pumpkin seeds before we plant them. Hopefully it'll help them germinate a little bit faster. And this is proof that the things that I've learned from giant pumpkin, growing giant pumpkins are maybe actually useful in the real world. Well, that's it for today. Um, I hope you like what you saw. If you're a giant pumpkin grower, I wanna wish you the best of luck this year. And if you're not growing pumpkins yet, I hope you will be someday in the future.